no time to chat. The Women's Football League is having a press conference, and I'm late. Oh, first basketball, now football. We women can play any sport we put our minds to. Eh, sport, pipe James Sideshow. Who am I to judge? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for cooking. Well, Daddy, do you really think I'm sitting around in my chilling outfit just for the fun of it? No offense, but you've done stranger things in the name of fun. <laughs> Daddy, I have chilling practice. You said you'd take me. Can't you catch the bus? Daddy, a teenage girl taking public transportation dressed as a cheerleader? Get in the car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know, Daddy, my 16th birthday is coming up in three days, and I'll be driving, so we have to come up with some sort of schedule for the car. <laughs> okay, how about I drive my car, and you drive yours? But I don't have a car. Better note that on the schedule. <laughs> questions, acting all guilty. Go to your room. Daddy, I saw you sit on something. Either you're hiding something or you're waiting for my brother or sister to hatch. I, I, come on, I'm not sitting on it. I'm just... <gasps> What's this, huh? The birthday fairy left the 16-year-old girl a present. Is there a 16-year-old girl in the house? Daddy! Where's 16-year-old girl? Daddy, <laughs> Happy birthday, baby. Ooh, I know what this is. Yeah. It's a... A pearl necklace. <laughs> Even under the tissue. Right along face. Those pearls came straight from Fiji. Did they get here in a car? <laughs> oh, oh, I get it. Someone was expecting keys to a set of wheels. Hey, I was gonna wait till after dinner, but uh, come on over to the window. <laughs> okay, look over there. See that one right there, the purple one with the sunroof? Yeah, yeah. That's not yours. <laughs> Come on, Daddy, I need a car. Hook a sister up. Uh, sure, I'll hook a sister up with a bus pass. <laughs> but you know the deal. You want a car, you gotta pay for a car. Okay, okay. Well, do you know my friend Marla from school? She has an arrangement with her parents where they'll match anything she saves so she can buy a car. Can we do that? Pumpkin, you want me to match you? You don't even have a job. I mean, it'll take you forever to... But if that's what you want to do, uh, match whatever money you save. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Because, bam, Grandma and Grandpa gave me $500 for my birthday, and plus your five, that would make $1,000. But, uh, uh, Daddy, you promised. Yeah, but that promise was to broke Brianna, not $500, Brianna. <laughs> Come on, Daddy. I'm trying to go legit here. I'm not getting a credit card. I'm not throwing a rave, and I'm not blackmailing Dwayne. I'm getting money the old-fashioned way. I'm begging from my daddy. <laughs> okay, we'll get you a car. Oh, okay, I love you, Daddy. I love you too, sweetie. Thank you. Can we go looking now? <laughs> Patience, young one. Patience. Okay, finding a quality used car is the ultimate chess match. Okay, now. You have to find the best car for the least money. Now, in order to do that, we have to find a dealership with a weak-minded salesperson. Mm-hmm. A puppet whose strings I can pull at will. Rihanna's first car, and you came to me. You've always been there for the special moments, D. You're like a brother to me. Brother. <laughs> I can't believe it. Seems like just yesterday you were riding around on your little tricycle. Woo, well, no. <laughs> Let's see where we can find you. Oh, hey, hey, you break it, you bought it. Ooh, looks like you already have. What happened to you? Brianna's new friend Josh ran over my foot. Psycho. He tried to trick his scooter, psycho. What are you thinking, boy? I told you, if you want to take him out, use a two by four, not your foot. Jack, I'm sure. No, which one to get? They're all so fabulous and expensive. Uh, not for Flex the Negotiator. Uh, there's a sucker born every minute. But a sucker like Dwayne only comes around once in a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <you know. laughs> 
What kind of car are we looking for? It's something sleek and sporty, and that can be driven under an 18-wheeler like in the Fast and the Furious. Uh, what kind of budget are we working with? $1,000. What about that car over there? Oh, that one? <laughs> yeah, it's a nice car, isn't it? But it's a little out of your price range. Oh, that's a dream ride, ain't it? And you would look so cute behind the wheel. <laughs> yeah, let me direct you to the cheap daddy section. Cheap? What are you calling a cheap? Flex, you came in with $1,000. <laughs> you know what $1,000 will get you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it doesn't have seat belts, but don't worry about it. It doesn't have seats. Now, I can't put my baby in there. Flex, now if you want something better, you gotta come up with some more chatter. Tom, you have a customer online. Maybe I should sweeten the pot. Well, all right then. Maybe we can work something out, brother. <laughs> What is it going to take for me to get you into that car, partner? A deal, I reckon. Sticker price is $2,500. Sorry about that. I can only go as high as 18, less than you throw in the mule. Nah, hoss. Maybe I can talk him down to 21. Too rich for my blood. I better get to mosey him. Whoa, Nelly. Maybe I can talk to my man. He doesn't even have a clue. <laughs> it's like a deer nibbling on a hunter's rifle. Wayne, you out of your mind? But he's my best friend. His daughter's my godchild. She just turned 16. Oh, why didn't you say so? Let's just give every car out a lot. Happy freaking birthday! <laughs> Dear, are you in trouble? Never mind, Big Sal. His bark is worse than his bite. What? No, really, I got him so mad one time that he bit me. Wasn't that bad. <laughs> that, now, don't tell anybody I did this for you, but uh, I'm going to waive my commission. You would do that for me, dog? Hey, man, anything for Brianna. And we're brothers, right? <laughs> All right. Now, uh, that's going to shave the price down to 1950 uh, except if you want the extended warranty. The extended warranty? Oh, no, 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 that's how you brothers get paid. Uh, what you gonna throw in next? Some winterizing, huh? Some undercoating? One of those little hula dolls you put on the dashboard and go like this? Yeah, all right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> all right, no extended warranty. All right, let's just uh, draw up the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brianna, you ready to... Uh... Brianna? Oh, I can't believe I have my own car. I'm a woman. I'm a Dawson's geek anyway. Look, I'm not hating on Ginger anymore, so you shouldn't be hating on Josh. Hey, pedestrians, can you give us losers a push? Please? Daddy, my new car is a hoopty. What? Broke down, Mr. Washington. We have to push it all the way back home. What are you talking about? You were behind the wheel. Brianna and I did all the pushing. <laughs> no, no, I can't believe that that car broke down on you. That almost never happens to cars from Big Sal's. That is one of the best used cars out there. That's what I'm saying. Don't worry, Bree. We'll have it towed down to Big Sal's in the morning, and we'll have your nice Uncle Dwayne fix it for free. Wait a minute. You, you got another Uncle Dwayne? Because the good-looking one can't do that. <laughs> I don't know about the good-looking one, but the short, stubby one better get to fixing it. Now, sorry, Flex, but you didn't get the extended warranty. I mean, Big Size warranties are for eight miles or eight hours, whichever comes first. I don't believe this. This is an outrage. This is a scandal. I haven't seen a travesty like this since Mariah Carey and Glitter. <laughs> now, look. Now, if you buy a TV and it breaks down after two days, do you get your money back? Absolutely. Well, you should have bought our TV. <laughs> Flex, it was an as-is sale. It says so on the receipt. Look, man. I bought a car from you because I thought you were my friend. But if this is how you're gonna be, 
Well, I guess I just have to take matters into my own hands. Oh, <laughs> what are you gonna do? Item number 1125 on calendar, Washington versus Knox. Parties, please step forward. In our next case, Flex Washington is a 33-year-old broadcaster from Baltimore, Maryland. He is suing Godfather Gone God Awful, 34-year-old Dwayne Odell Knox, for selling him a defective used car. Dwayne is countersuing for $1 million. Judge Joe Brown presides. All rise. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Holly. Okay, baby, remember, eye contact. If you can't look a judge in the eye, it means you're lying. See this right here? That's truth. <laughs> this right here? Lies. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying, Your Honor. Don't believe a word I say. <laughs> Mr. Washington, seems that for your daughter's 16th birthday, you bought a car for her from the defendant that promptly broke down. Now, Mr. Washington, you have the floor first, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. Well, the defendant is a uh, low-down, dirty, unscrupulous used car pusher. Now, why did you buy this car from the defendant? Uh, you like being a victim? No, sir. Perhaps what we need is a little background here. What type of relationship did you two have before this transaction? Well, Your Honor, Dwayne and I have been best friends since the fourth grade. Yep, yep. We were so close that if I was hungry, he would eat. <laughs> See? Look at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bravo, bravo. And the award for the best phony friend goes to Flex Washington, right here. Wait your turn, sir. And by the way, a little bit of home training right now might do you some good, too. <laughs> sir, is one of these young ladies over here your daughter? Uh, oh, y yes, Yana. This is the victim. And this is just a friend, the fashion victim. <laughs> okay, baby, go ahead and tell him how everything happened. And remember, eye contact, eye contact. <laughs> yeah, Anna, on the day of my 16th birthday. Uh, young lady, excuse me, excuse me. Do we have a thyroid problem here? <laughs> or are you trying to make eye contact to impress the court? I'm sorry, I just want you to know that I'm telling the truth. Just put your eyes away. <laughs> now, answer me this. Who picked out this car, you, your father, or the defendant? Well, my daddy wanted something safe and reliable for me until Dwayne called him cheap, and then he hoodwinked my daddy into buying a more expensive car. Uh, that's right, Your Honor. He's a master of manipulation. He's a Svengali of deceit. He's a used car pusher. <laughs> Sir? What do you have to say about these accusations? I don't have to say anything, Your Honor. If it pleases the court, I'll let my witness do the talking. Witness? He's a Judas. No, nah, no, nah, he's Episcopalian. Uh, Your Honor, uh, this young man can testify as to the integrity of my character. Go on, young man, testify. Your Honor, I would like to read a statement that Dwayne, <clears throat> that, that I have prepared. <laughs> Ever since my parents broke up, Dwayne Odell Knox has been like a father to me. He's a pillow of the community. Pillar. Pillar of the community. <laughs> he represents honesty, respect. Nicely read, young man. Now we know you passed English. Get to the point. Uh, Arnaz, why don't you just uh, tell the judge how I offered Mr. Washington the extended warranty and he refused? The great Dwayne Odell Knox kindly offered flex the extended warranty, and he unequivocally refused. Son, what does unequivocally mean? Couldn't tell you, boy. <laughs> I thought not. Now, let me advise all of you that as the trier of fact, I have to assess your credibility. So don't try to get too cute on me up in here. <laughs> now, young lady, why did you go to Big Sal's? May I remind you, you're under oath. Well, the truth is, my daddy thought Dwayne might be a bit of a pushover. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, uh, Miss Holly, now we're getting somewhere. Why would you think that, Mr. Washington? Well, Your Honor, because he's Dwayne. <laughs> I mean, he's always been like that, for as long as I can remember. 
I'll trade you this Marmaduke comic book for that Superman. But I like Superman. Dwayne, I'm just looking out for you. I mean, do you really want people to know that you like a man in tights? No, but... You like dogs, right? Marmaduke is way cooler than Superman. Now I'm just trying to do you a favor. Uh, okay. Flat out. He was just always so easy to get over on. <laughs> Idiot says what? <laughs> what? Idiot says what? What? <laughs> Idiot says what? What? I rest my case, you <laughs> Funny, don't you, Mr. Funny Man? And I'm just so stupid. Well, let me tell you how stupid I am not. Yep. That's Marmaduke without a tail. <laughs> you know, only 33 copies were printed before they caught the mistake. I know. I'll give you $400 for it. No way, mister. I have at least two other buyers who are willing to pay me five for it. All right. I'll give you $525 and a cream sickle. It's a deal. Do you have a hard bargain, Mr. Comic Book Man? Uh, <laughs> how you like me now? You got $525? Yeah, and a creamsicle. <laughs> man, you set me up. You try to set me up first, man. You think you're smarter than everyone else. Oh, not everyone else, just you. Man, whatever. <laughs> and to think, I even waived my commission for you. Wait a minute. If you waived your commission, what's the sales fee? Excuse me? I see tax, title, and a $600 sales fee. What's that if not a commission? Oh, sales fee. Yes. <laughs> um, that is the uh, percentage that is paid to uh, a, a salesperson for his uh, or her services. Exactly. <laughs> a commission. Well, potato, potato. Uh, it's potato, potato. <laughs> potato. D who's the idiot now, Judge? <laughs> Sir, you got a nice chunk of change off of this deal. Sit down to both of you. You're setting a very bad example for these children. Don't make me have to declare both of you pitiful. <laughs> now, let's go with the witness. Young lady, do you have anything meaningful to say? Yes, Your Honor. I'm single, I like to mingle, and all the cute boys can give me a jingle. Beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep? Yeah, girl, that's my new thing. I forgot to tell you. You sit your little beep down. <laughs> it's pretty obvious to the court that this case is less about business than about a friendship gone bad. And it looks to me like you're both guilty of playing each other. Am I right? Uh, is, is this really the place to point blame, Your Honor? Well, it is a courtroom. What do you think we do up in here? Even so, well, he sold me the car and is therefore responsible for fixing it. Where'd you say you got your law degree from? Uh, I don't have one, but, but I watch you every day. Uh, you, you, uh, you the man. Really? <laughs> Why, he's got good taste, Miss Holly. Then you won't be surprised if I rule against you. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> I'll take my million in small bill. <laughs> Loser says, what? I'm dismissing your countersuit. First of all, this is a small claims court. If you could read, you'd know that the most we can deal with is $5,000. I'll, I'll take that. You were acting as agent for your friend, the plaintiff, and his daughter, and you acted with little faith, and both of you are still acting like little boys trying to game each other for a little money. So I'm gonna dismiss both cases. Both of you get out of here, get together, quit acting so low down, and that's the word of Judge Joe Bryan. We're on a commercial break. Save it for Judge Judy. So, guys, what's it gonna be? Your friendship or a used car? I don't know. The last time I checked, a used car never stabbed me in the back. <laughs> well, one could run you over. <laughs> Not one from your lot. <laughs> well, hypothetically, I don't think friends are supposed to take advantage of each other. Well, hypothetically, I would expect a friend to tell a friend that something was eaten at him for 20 years. Well, hypothetically, I think that a friend should tell another friend that that friend... Fellas, a... everybody knows you're talking about each other. Why don't you just say what's on your mind? 
I just want to tell Dwayne that I'm sorry for trying to take advantage of you for the past few decades. <laughs> You're my best friend, and I'll never do it again. I love you, bro. I love you too, dog. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, excuse me, Brittany. <laughs> Baby, I'm sure he's fine. We would have heard something by now. I mean, that's what the 11 o'clock news is for. Daddy! Look, baby, you just need to get your mind off him. Now, why don't you come to work with me again? They're unveiling a new flex file set. I know why you've been dragging me down to work all week. I promised you I won't run away to New York again. Oh, that's right. You did run away there, didn't you? Well, I forgot all about that. Oh, really? So is that why you nailed my window shut? Uh, baby, that was because of the West Nile virus. <laughs> uh, you, you coming with me is, is about us spending time together. Mm-hmm. Come on, Daddy. I thought we talked about this. You can trust me. I won't run away and make you cry again. Hey, I never said I cried. It was more like a mist. <laughs> Remember, if we have a problem, we agree we should talk about it. I'm going to be 18 soon, an adult, and you have to treat me like one. I, mean, I don't have to, but, but I'm going to. Now, where's my rent money? <laughs> I, I promise. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna be calm. I'm gonna be rational, and and I trust you. You can call me Zen Daddy. <laughs> and Zen Daddy's okay with you not coming with him to work. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll see you when I get. Sometimes at the start you can feel all by yourself. When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be back to thinking then What a true love will you do Maybe one on one Can't nobody break this bond Maybe one on one Just be fine Now we have a fight One on one One on one Good afternoon all, good afternoon Today is a big day, and not just for me, well, mainly for me, but for all of us. Yes, for all of us. Today, the Flex Files will forever become a part of that vast world that we call syndication. <laughs> just call me Oprah Light. <laughs> oh, and here he is, the man responsible for making all our dreams come true. Well, mainly mine. <laughs> the king of Queens World Syndication, Matt Johnson, everybody. Give it up for him. He may be short, but he's rich. Come on, y'all. And as for you, Flex, two words. Yard sale. <laughs> Your show's not happening. What, what are you talking about? What about syndication? What about Oprah Light? <laughs> Holly's out. She had a terrible accident. Too much collagen injected into her lips. <laughs> Oh. Man, you look like two hot legs on her face. <laughs> Matt, see, you may see someone as horribly disfigured, but I see someone as the person reaching out to the ugly audience. Flex, ugly people don't buy things. Nothing looks good on them. I'm sorry, but there is no show without Holly. Look, you can't do this to me, Matt. Look, I I've worked for years to get the Flex Files syndicated. I've sacrificed... Everything. Relationships, family, even my political aspirations. Flex for president. Gone. Listen, buddy boy, I got a hundred television stations expecting a new show starring you and a beautiful girl. I'm sorry. That's a wrap, everybody. Thank you for your help. I've got some UPS job applications if anyone's interested. <laughs> Don't give up on me, all right? Give me a chance. I can come up with something. You know, I like you, Flex. Normally, tall black men scare me, but... <laughs> You'll get your extra time. As it happens, Matalicious has a hot date tonight, so you have 24 hours. If I get lucky, you get lucky. <laughs> Fresh hot popcorn. And hey, maybe that's my new show. I cook, 
I do sports. I call it hoops and soups. How about a sports makeover show? Each week you can give some football player a makeover. At least that way people would have a reason to watch the show. <laughs> Daddy, go watch the game at Dwayne's. Game? Ain't no game on. Look, I know this is father-daughter spirit time, but go be with your friends. We can't run away. Our nails are wet. Sweetie, girl, move out the way. Sweetie, I want to make sure we spend enough time together. I mean, we both know what happens when I get too busy. We get better snacks. I mean, sorry, ever since we were starving artists in New York, I see the value of food. And we're not going back, so just go. Okay, but I'm not going because I love football more than you. I love both of you equally. <gasps> Ooh, my phone is ringing. I bet you was on this. <laughs> it's you. Oh, yeah, I was sitting on my phone. <laughs> Kick. See, if they had Ricky Williams, they'd be going for it instead of trying to kick a field goal. What happened to coaches who take chances? They get fired. <laughs> I mean, how can Ricky just walk away and quit the NFL at 27? He didn't want to run on grass anymore. He wanted to smoke it. <laughs> Flex, what are you going to do about the show now that Holly's out? I don't know, man. It's been racking my brain, and I keep coming back to the same thing. Me. <laughs> Wasn't that what the show was before? Exactly. And who bought that show? Well, you sure are cranky when you have no future. And no neck. I'm, I'm wondering what keeps your head up. <laughs> Where you back? Where you back? Oh, my God. I get it. Turtle Boy has a point. You need to come up with something different. I mean, I know. I, I don't want some dumb sidekick again. You know, if they're gonna give me somebody, why can't it be somebody who knows sports? You know, like you guys. You know, the four of us just ripping, talking about the week's sports topics. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, I know what you're thinking. Yeah? You're thinking, if we use a coupon, we can get an extra pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and no one will notice that I ain't kicking in. <laughs> no, Dwayne, I'm talking about this, this, man. This is my show. You see, everyone else uses celebrities. See, with you guys, I can reach the common man, the average Joe, the loser that no one cares about. I could spin records. Hey, Ace, man, it's, it's a sports show, man. It's, it's no records. No, but I'm good. I mean, like... I, I, no, 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 no. Cut him, Flex. Cut him. He's being difficult. He's ruining our show. And I need this, man. I beg you, Flex. I haven't been able to find a job. I'm running out of money. Cut him. Just let him go. Cut him. <laughs> Indian food. What about some Indian food? Can we get some Indian food? Arnaz loves curry. Arnaz doesn't even know what curry is. He thinks curry is the guy running for president. Oh, I never thought I would miss Arnaz this much. I really blew it, didn't I? Pizza? Did you say pizza? Look, I didn't want to get involved with him because I didn't want to lose him as a friend. But now I've lost him anyway. He's gone. It's not too late. Maybe you can call him and tell him how you feel. And while you do that, I'm going to call a pizza man and tell him how I feel. <laughs> you know what? You're right. It's about time I told Arnez that I love him. Oh, my God, I love him. <laughs> what? His phone is still off? Oh, I can't stand him. <laughs> Why did I say something when I had the chance? I'll never love anyone again. Now I have to grow old with you. <laughs> nuh -uh, I'm getting a man. <laughs> Thank God I have you. Come on, we can go get something to eat. <laughs> How about some pizza? <laughs> Did somebody say pizza? Oh, Arnaz, we're so happy to see you. Go! I miss you, too. So nice seeing your face. Mmm, you smell like bread. And I'm starving. How about I get something to eat? So, you're back. Well, we ran out of money and I have to give blood five days in a row just for orange juice and cookies. It's time to go home. Yeah, I have to admit, things haven't been much fun around here without you. Brianna and I were just talking about that. Weren't we, Brianna? <laughs> yes. I was just saying that I never realized how annoying spirit was without you being around. <laughs> but the important thing is that you're back. Thanks. Hey, you guys gonna eat this bacon grease? <laughs> putting up with any more of this Brianna Arnaz drama. You need to tell him how you feel or I'm walking out that door. 
<laughs> okay, look, we both know I ain't got nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. But you said if you ever had the chance, you'd say something, and here's your chance. Okay. You win. I'm gonna do this. Um, Arnez, I have something that I want to say. Okay. <laughs> okay, it, it's like this. You and me, we've been going... Ooh, my syndication dreams aren't dead. My new show has me, Arnez... Arnez! <laughs> what are you doing here? Spirit, lock the door. Daddy, relax. I'm not going anywhere. You're not gonna hurt me, are you? Because I'm frail. I'm weak. And my blood isn't clot anymore. <laughs> Remember, you're my zen daddy. You're right. You're right. That was the old flex. This is zen flex. Arnez, my home is your home. You know, it's funny you should say that. Your home being my home, because when we were in New York, you said if I ever need anything, I'll let you know. Mm -hmm. Well, I need something. A place to crash until I figure things out, like going to school and where I'm going to stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. You asked me last week. I just said, what over my dead body? <laughs> but this is the new flex. Man, of course you can crash on my couch. Man, come on, man. Hey, eat some bread. <laughs> so, Arnaz is staying here in our house? Yep, because I trust you. And because Zen Daddy wouldn't say no. Would he? <laughs> Hey, you guys ready? Oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. My lines. I forgot my lines. D Dwayne, there aren't any lines, man. It's all improv. That's the hook. Man, improv? Are you mad? I'm not Wayne Brady. <laughs> Though I can't dance. <laughs> okay, well, now I got my show down. I'm gonna check on my baby, all right? Hey, Brianna. Hey, sweetie. Where's Inez? No, I thought you brought him up. <laughs> well, so, since you did, what's he doing? So put him on. Yeah, yeah, Arnez, yeah. Uh, I'll be home after my Taekwondo class. What the? Lex! Like you to meet my new girlfriend, Rania Roshenko? Pleasure to meet you. The pleasure's all yours. Isn't she hot? I met her on my Croatian bachelor tour. Bachelor tour? Yeah. It's when Eastern black women like me who live on potatoes and beets are marched into a room filled with filthy, rich American men. And I mean, it was love at first sight. <laughs> well, as long as it's true love, I'm sure she's uh, very sweet. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you like her, Flex, because she's your new co host. Oh, co host? Man, I thought you were going to give me a chance to come up with my own show. Well, what about them? Say holla. Holla. <laughs> The homeless guys, the security will take care of them. No, man, those are my boys. That's that's the show. It is regular guys talking about sports. Them? Baby, I cannot work with Bell Biv the Fat. <laughs> Matt, darling, you fix this. And I will be over there trying those ho hos I heard so much about. <laughs> For three hundred dollars and a carton of Marlboros, you could have her sister. <laughs> Matt, buddy, look, I'm trying to make a living here, and you're pairing me up with this Eastern block Barbie. <laughs> Wake up and smell the vodka, man. She's using you. Look, I know this looks bad, but look at me. Now look at her. <laughs> now look at me again. Now her again. <laughs> God, I love this power I have. <laughs> but what about my idea? It appeals to the common man. Uh, he's flex. People love the hot couple thing. I mean, they want another J-Lo and Denzel. And J-Lo's not with Denzel. Give her time. <laughs> now, come on, flex. A smart guy like you knows the Croatian market is untapped. <laughs> but what about my guys, man? I can't fire them. Jeez. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll take care of them. Hey, Flex's friends, you're fired. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, except you, big guy. We'll find something for you to do. I can spin records. Records? Oh, that's perfect for a sports show. 
and I'm not just saying that because I'm scared of you. <laughs> Look, guys, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say, but I fought for you. Flex, we were right here. <laughs> Ace no hard feelings. I mean, it's show business. We got beat out by boobs. <laughs> Hers and his. Uh, why, why don't you guys go over to the uh, food table and grab as much as you can, and, uh, you know, that's the least I can do. <laughs> Sweetheart, you look beautiful. All right, uh, Flex, let's do a dry run. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the end of my dreams. <laughs> I mean, the Flex Files. <laughs> so what does my co-host want to talk about today? Squirrel and moose? I would like to talk about Terrell Owens and how he's going to lead the Eagles to the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, well, it's still a tough division with Joe Gibbs returning to Washington as I coach. know, and Eli Manning going to the Giants, but I still like the Eagles. Javon Kersey, he's a monster. <laughs> they lost Troy Benson. They got the honey Jones. They lost Carlos Emans. He's damaged goods. 71 solo tackles last year. He broke his leg. He'll be back. He's done. Oh, oh, oh. I love this. It's like the Cold War all over again. Only you're Reagan and you're Gorbachev, and it's like with cleavage and a clear forehead. So Arnest slept all day? Yep, lazy boy with no goals, no direction, and no body fat. God, I love him. <laughs> oh, here's an idea I had just a hundred times. Tell him. Spirit, you don't understand. I can't. My dad will never let me live with my boyfriend, and I love having him here. He always has his shirt off. <laughs> Hello. Stop being so logical and selfish. At the very least, do it for me, for the romantic in me who never gets to savor life's true treasure. Love. Now go. You're right. I should do it. You know, it wouldn't kill you to say, don't worry, spirit, you'll find love. Not right now. <laughs> hey, Arnez, how's your sandwich? Tell him! <laughs> Arnez, can we go somewhere and talk? Uh, somewhere private, like the roof? Oh, okay. Well, that should put on a warmer shirt. here to talk about spirit, right? We need to find her a man. How about the guy around the corner who collects cans? This is about me and you. Look, Arnez, I should have said this a long time ago. I know I told you that I just wanted to be friends. But while you were gone, all I could do was think about you and how much I wanted to do this. Man, look at them. Little sneak. I'm gonna kill him. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold, on. Hold on, Zen Daddy. Look, think about it, all right? If you overreact now, you might push her away. Baby for good. You don't want that, do you? Man, those kids can hold their breath. That's okay, it, right? I, 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 I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Wait, like, this is killing me, man. I'll be an enlightened parent, but I'm not going to be a stupid parent. He has to go. Hey, come on, Flex. Man, where's your compassion? I mean, the boy's practically an orphan. Man, he's got no place to go. Oh, man. You're right, man. I got to help him. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi! Hey. Hey. Nice to see you, too. Um, Brianna, why don't you go ahead and start dinner, huh? But I'm Just go ahead. Uh, Arnaz, uh, you're going to be living with Dwayne now. Huh? huh? <laughs> oh, Dwayne, look, change. Oh. Mike! Mike! <laughs> hey, Inez, look, uh, Dwayne has fallen on some hard times. Look, now he lost his job, he lost his girlfriend, lost another job today. Uh, and he could really use the companionship and the rent money. I can't afford rent, Mr. Washington. Just, I'll take care of the rent. See, I can't give it to him directly. Dwayne's got too much pride. Dwayne? <laughs> Oh, you can't tell, but he's very embarrassed right now. 
I don't know, Mr. Washington. It just sounds like a lot of work. You know what? I forgot to tell you, though. You don't have no choice. <laughs> hey, uh, Dwayne, man, thanks for taking our nails in, man. Flex, if this is about you being afraid that I need the money and that I'm lonely, well, you're right. Thanks, dog. <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, has it been that long since Candy left you, Dwayne? <laughs> you guys got me. You got me. <laughs> Brianna, uh, could you come help Zen Daddy run his new lines for his new show promos? Oh, Arnez, I didn't realize you were here. Zen! <laughs> Who's funny now? <laughs> Wait until you see the new promo for the Flex Files. It is hot. Hi, I'm Flex Washington of the Flex Files, and this is my co-host, Ranya Roshenko. She's new to this country. I may be new to this country, but I'm not new to sports. Since when do we shoot Croatian girls going wild? Shh. Whether it's baseball, football, or basketball, nobody knows sports balls like Ranya. Watch me work it every week on the Flex Files. That girl was my idea. <laughs> well, did I tell you? Hot? What happened to the promo that we shot? You know, the one with me in it? Well, Matt, actually, I loved it. But couldn't we shorten up the beginning just a little bit? Can you believe this, Ace? Back me up here, man. I only have one note. She should be wearing clear heels. <laughs> See, Flex, you're the only one who doesn't like it. All right, everybody, places, please. Don't be angry, Flex. We are just trying to do what is best for my show. My show, The Flex Files. For now. <laughs> Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be there to take you then What a true love we are Baby, 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 it's the one Baby, one, no, one, 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 one. Yeah. Can nobody win this bond Baby, one, no, one, 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 All right, Dwayne, I need you to help me choose my class ring. Should I go with subtle and understated or, uh-oh, Kobe, what you do now? See, I might not be the guy to ask. My class ring has two years on it, 86 and 87. <laughs> That's it, Ace. I know it's a good job, but I'm quitting. You ain't getting no ring. If you quit, Flex, what would you do? And more importantly, what would I do? At first, they cut me out of my own promo. Next, they'll be cutting me out of my show. Man, I can't stand by and let that happen. I gotta do something. I gotta do it now. Well, well, wait, Daddy. Before you do something crazy, can I get $400 for my class ring? I already gave you money for your ring. But I lost it. At the shoe store. <laughs> Brianna, I'm not made out of money. I suggest you tie those shoes around your finger and tell everybody you graduated from Gucci High. <laughs> really expensive. And you're the one who said you wanted me to graduate from high school. It costs. Brianna, you keep telling me you're an adult, so get a job. Yeah, I kind of already did the job thing, and it's not for me. Uh -huh. uh, Dwayne, get her a job down at your place. What? I can't work at a garage. The only thing I know about cars is that they need gas. Ooh, which reminds me, I need some gas money, too. Uh, Brianna, look, you're gonna have to make your own money. I don't know how, but just as long as it doesn't involve fishnet stockings, a pole, and a wad of singles. You know what? This would have been a lot easier if you would have just left your wallet laying around. Oh, man, what am I gonna do about my show? As long as Ronnie's got control of Matt, she's got control of my show. And I'm done. I can't compete with that. Yeah, only thing that can compete with a hot chick is an even hotter chick. <laughs> now, maybe if you grow your hair out, you know, shave your legs, put a little rouge on your cheeks. You might have a shot. That's it. Then again, I'm not sure Matt's into ugly transvestites. That's true, Flex. You're a four at best. 
I mean, not like I ever pictured it, you know. <laughs> no, you idiots. I'm gonna get another girl for Matt, get Rania out of the picture, and get my show back. And Ace, I'm at least at eight. I got legs for days. This is great, Brianna. What better place to get a job than a restaurant where the waitresses recite famous movie lines? Yeah, you don't need us here to hold your hand. This job's perfect for you. Okay, all right, I confess, I don't need you. I needed a ride because I ran out of gas. <laughs> all right, ladies, before we start, I've got great news. My divorce is final. <laughs> you know, I am the one doing the hiring. <laughs> ah, okay. But seriously, corporate has decided to use one of our waitresses for a national commercial. So if you get the job, you might also become a star. Oh, mm. Okay, now I need your support. This is more than just making a few dollars. This can launch my acting career. Okay, first up, uh, Lexus Mercedes Beamer. <laughs> Get in gear, girl. <laughs> you get it? Gear, car names. It's a joke, people. All of my poor life, I had to fight, okay? And little Sophia wasn't even safe in a house full of menfolk. But I had not never thought that as a grown woman, I would have to fight in my own house. Wow, she is really horrible. I mean, really, really, really horrible. Brilliant. You're hired. They liked her? Oh, quick on this. They may be looking for singers. They might as well just hand me this commercial right now. Uh, Brianna Barnes. Oh, girl. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brianna Barnes. Yeah, I know. That was me that just read your name. Oh, okay. All right, then. Um, here I go. Oh, my God. Thank poor... you. We'll call you. <laughs> Okay, thanks. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. He wouldn't even let me finish. I can't believe he would hire all those women over me. What do they have that I don't have? Cute uniforms. <laughs> so sweet. Uh, not that I'm looking, but uh, I think it starts with big and ends with oobies. <laughs> Makeup, take care of our star, please. <laughs> hey, yo, I saw that. It's gonna let you shine on TV. <laughs> you got to do something. Did you talk to Matt yet? I haven't had a chance yet. ronnie has been all over him like a virus, giving him a case of the Croatian cooties. <laughs> But I've got the cure. Uh, hey, Matt, a minute. Uh, yeah, listen, uh, me and the fella's gonna hang out tonight, and we need a white guy and a crew just in case the car breaks down and we gotta catch a cab. So you wanna roll? <laughs> no, 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 no. I've been through this before. You just want me to pay for the beer, don't you? <laughs> no, we just thought it would be cool to have you as part of our crew. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, I've never been part of a crew. <laughs> Although I was coxswain in college for the Harvard rowing team. Oh. Of course, that was just because I owned a megaphone. <laughs> Whatever. So are you in? I don't know. I'm going to have to check with Ron. Oh. I'm... You know what? I guess you're not the player that I thought you were. And the fellow's going to be real disappointed. We were looking for a rich white coxswain. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. So wait a minute. You know what? Maybe you're right. I suppose one night rolling with the brothers is in order. Uh, <laughs> I mean, after all, the mat man has to get out of his 10,000 square foot cave now and then. Uh -huh. And he doesn't need to ask permission because he is king what? of his castle. Yeah. <laughs> Brianna, what are you doing back there? The girl formerly known as Brianna does not live here anymore. You have to call for Pammy Lee. <laughs> Wow! Come over here, girl. Give me a hug. Brownie, you went into that bedroom a respectable young woman, and you came 
without a flotation device. <laughs> Girl, you saw what was happening at that restaurant? They don't want girls like me. They want girls like Tammy. <laughs> That's why I set up an audition for her and her friends. <laughs> I bought these balls at a toy store. But look, if I adjust them just right, and in a go. <laughs> I can't believe you're falling into this I'm not good enough trap. Love thy body, love thyself. That's easy for you to say. You've been wearing a bra since the second grade. <laughs> Look, things like this don't happen here in Baltimore. I mean, I could be in a national commercial. I could be like the next can you hear me now guy. <laughs> this is what actresses do to get work. I didn't make the rules. Well, I think you're overreacting, Brianna, and fake boobs are not gonna get you that job. <laughs> Hi, I'm... Hired. <laughs> Pammy, you start tonight. Oh! <laughs> to tagger you could never outfight Santino. He's a pimp. But I didn't know until yesterday that it was Barzini all along. Hey, Pam, I saw you doing your thing, and you are a really good actress. I mean, you remember the words and everything. Thank you, but I don't think that table noticed my acting ability. I know what you mean. Okay, I've been tripping over my lines all night, and I'm like racking in the tips. I must be like a really good actress or something. Pammy, I've been paying attention, and you've got God-given talent. You, really? You think I'm good? As a matter of fact, I think you've got the inside track for the commercial. <laughs> Dwayne, thanks again for the great play gear. It's not often I can wear it right off the rack. <laughs> no problem. Just try not to sweat in it. I'm planning on wearing it tomorrow. Flex, this is the most fun I've had in 10 years. Uh, getting pulled over was great. I mean, profiling is no joke. Yeah, yeah, good, good cover saying you just signed us to a record deal. That was, that was smooth. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome to dinner and a movie. It's table for four with uh, two booster seats. <laughs> <laughs> right this way. Might not need to hit the club. There's plenty of hot women here. Hot women is gonna help me get my show back. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 oh. Menu looks good. Oh, check it out. Ta ta tots. Fellas, what's with the pigeon thing? Oh, it's just a little something us hip hop boys do these days. <laughs> now, see, see, Matt, what we players do once we're at the watering hole is we stake out our prey. Now, which one of these lost little lambs would you like to cull from the herd? <laughs> yeah, I find it easier to pounce on the sick and the weak. Hi, okay. guys. Ooh. All right, listen, I'm supposed to come over here and recite movie lines, but I don't remember any, so can y'all just laugh? <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, no one laughs louder than my well-paid television producer friend here. Television producer? You don't say. <laughs> that's, a, that's just something that we hip-hop boys do these days. Uh, well, you know what? I like you. I'm going to bring you guys all back around to drinks and you my phone number. Oh, oh and bring some ta-ta-tots. Life as a player ain't bad, is it? <laughs> Ron, you hoop. <laughs> Word. <laughs> and when it's all over, if I have to beg, borrow, or steal, I'll never be hungry again. Ooh, ooh, I I'll be right back with you, Bill. <laughs> Pammy. Oh. Listen, Mandy's falling behind. I need you to take these ta 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 to table three and table six. Oh, and put your shoulders back. Good. <laughs> Amazing! I never would have thought you were a Trekkie. We're everywhere, baby. Live long and party. What's up? <laughs> All right, here you are, fellas. You're hot. Brianna? Hey, Daddy. What do you think you're doing? Well, you you told me to get a job. Look, no fishnets. 
Ain't nobody looking at your legs. And what happened? Did you get bit by a mosquito on steroids? H, I gotta deal with this. You make sure everybody has a good time. You, you coming with me. But, Daddy, I need to No, work. no, you got your breast all out like little Kim. Okay, what's wrong done. with you? Brianna, you can tell me a million times why you did it, but I can't understand why you'd want to alter yourself. Because every girl that got hired had big breasts. Oh, don't use that word. <laughs> okay, big boobs. Oh, okay, big breasts it is. <laughs> exactly, Daddy, that's my point. That's why I didn't get hired the first time. And aren't you being a little hypocritical? I don't think your buddies were there for the acting. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, see, you Matt went to... Never mind, I am grown. <laughs> I just don't get it. First you tell me to get a job, and then you yell at me when I get one? Yeah, but I thought you were gonna get a job where the french fries were supersized, not your chest. Daddy, this job gives me a chance to act, and I might get to be in a commercial because of it. Selling what? Uh, baby, I thought you wanted to be seen as a serious actress. Even successful actresses supersize sometimes. Look at Julia Roberts in that Aaron Bronchitis movie. <laughs> Okay, Julia Roberts didn't win an Oscar for Best Actress because of her cleavage. She won because of her talent. But, Daddy, it's not just movie stars. Half the girls in my school got implants as birthday gifts. You get more when you have more. Baby, you are a beautiful girl. You have to think I'm beautiful. You're my dad. But I don't look like the girls in the magazines. No one looks like the girls in the magazines. The girls in the magazines don't even look like the girls in the magazines. <laughs> Brianna, sweetie, look, you're my baby girl. I made you, and I'm proud of the way you turned out. And I want you to be proud, too. I am, Daddy. But I can't help it if this is what gets girls hired. All right, Brianna, you know what? I know you don't like when I, when I tell you what to do, but you're going to get rid of them breasts. <laughs> Daddy. Do you want to be remembered for your talent or your ta-ta-tots? <laughs> What are these hangers doing in your closet when I told you I don't want them in here ever? I work and I work until I'm about to fall. And what do I get? An ungrateful daughter who doesn't care about the beautiful things that I give her or about me. No more wire hangers. I heard the whole thing, kiddo, and you were marvelous. I'm gonna tell the boys upstairs that I want you for the commercial. What do you say? What do you say? What in the name of Boys Don't Cry happened to you? This is the real me. Do you still want me for your commercial? Uh, well, sweetie, I don't really well, think Well, you that... know what? You can hold your tongue, you swine. Because I quit. And I will have nothing to do with a place that objectifies women and makes a mockery of the noble profession that I love. Good day, sir. But I think you're... I said good day. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That wasn't a scene. That was real life. No, I'm serious. All right, fine. Keep clapping. I'm just too good. Matt, player, there you are. <laughs> so how did it go last night? Uh, you and that waitress Mandy hook up? You know, I haven't seen a woman that crazy for a man since, well, uh, my last date. <laughs> she was loving the mat, man. Uh, so uh, when are you two going out? Never. <laughs> she said the first Star Trek movie was better than The Wrath of Khan. She's dead to me. <laughs> oh, well, you know, we'll just get out and unleash the mat man again. <laughs> Thanks, but no thanks, Flex. Listen, taking me to that restaurant last night, meeting all those hot chicks, mm. and your daughter, <laughs> made me realize all women are hiding something. With Rania, at least I know what I have. Matt, but do you want to spend your life being her whipping boy? God, I hope so. <laughs> Look, if you're feeling Rania, who am I to try to step in and, and, and save you? but I just can't sit there and let her steal my show. Like, I know she's good for the ratings, but I am the heart and soul of the Flex Files. Without me, there is no flat app. Flex, I hear you loud and clear. I'm a businessman, and I'm gonna do what is best for this show. I mean, after all, after last night, you and me are boys. We're homies. 
I got your back. Matt. What is this phone number I found in your jacket? Uh, the, um... Uh, uh, Matt, it, it, isn't that the number for the jeweler? Uh, you know, the one that's uh, making the diamond pendant. Uh, bracelet? Uh, necklace? <laughs> Hi, I'm Flex Washington of the Flex Files, and this is my co-host, Rania Roshenko. Whether it's baseball, football, or basketball, nobody knows sports balls. Like me, Flex Washington of the Flex Files. Flat app. You ruined my promo. Yeah, you didn't take my note about the clear heels. I'm sorry, sweetie. And big guy. But I had to do what was best for the show. Matt. Are you defying me? Yeah, yeah, that's right. How do you like that? I don't like it. I love it. I haven't been this hot since my summer in Chernobyl. <laughs> Well, Flex, you can't say you didn't try. What are you talking about, man? I got my promo back. I won. <laughs> right, right. And I got the clear heels. <laughs> Last time on One on One. So, are you proposing to Natalie tonight? Nope. On Saturday night. I'm moving to Africa. You pray for something long enough, and it happens. <laughs> my mom finally gave me my dad's real name. Turns out she's been lying to me all these years. So how are you going to find her? Private investigator. <laughs> According to the court records, you've been married since June 18th, 1986. Oh, man, this has to be some kind of mistake. Will you marry me? Oh, my God! Not that many women would have said yes, knowing that Flex is still married. <laughs> is that her dad's and Ginger? Mr. Washington, your wife, Nicole, took a drive into the jungle with her lover, Jaden. Their empty jeep was found overturned several miles from the main road. Daddy, is mommy okay? Day 30 in the search for Nicole Barnes. Good morning, I'm Craig Simpson, live from Baltimore, here with local TV personality, sports anchor Flex Washington and his daughter Brianna. Now, Mr. Washington, your wife. The ex 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 wife people. <laughs> I shook her long before she disappeared. I told you once before, my mommy's alive. I could feel it in my bones. This is every American family's worst nightmare. A tourist disappearing in a strange land, fighting for her life. A mother, an ex-wife. Oh, she's a still his wife, because he never got divorced. And now I'm engaged to an almost bigamist. <laughs> Natalie, sorry, mommy. Lo siento. Lo siento. Uh, she's half Puerto Rican. Oh, yo también. Yo también. <laughs> Brianna, this must be really difficult for you. After 30 days, your mother could be... Uh-uh. Don't say it. Don't you even think it. My mama is not dead. I've seen those Tarzan movies. And if an unarmed white man in a diaper can survive in the jungle, you know my mama can. <laughs> oh, hope springs eternal in the heart of a naive child. Uh, uh, now, if we only have proof that she's still alive. And you are? Uh, friend and next-door neighbor Dwayne Odell Knox, and I unselfishly support Flex and Brianna as they wait for news of their beloved Nicole. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Yeah. And America, you can support the family, too. For only $19.99, you can get an official Fine Baby's Mama t-shirt <laughs> made entirely of recycled cotton. One size fits all, if you're all my size. <laughs> Back to you, Craig. Thank you, Dwayne. And there you have it, as a desperate family clings to hope and a stained t-shirt. The search for Nicole Aretha Barnes continues. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Mommy! It's alive! It's alive! Run for the hills! Sometimes in the sky, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. You were my air.
every wish and every prayer, and I thought of you with every inch of my heart. Thank you, baby. Now, where were you, and why did you call? <laughs> oh, sweetie, I didn't know you thought I was missing. See, after the accident, Jayden and I found a remote village near Victoria Falls. <laughs> no phones, no TV, no lights. Only our love and the monkeys to entertain us. You guys have kids already? <laughs> Very funny, Flex. Can your teeth get any bigger? Hey. Well, girl, we're all just glad you're alive. Now get rid of her. Say what? Uh, no, uh, no, no, no. Don't, don't take that the wrong way, Nicole. But you and I are still married. Let me talk to you for a minute, Flex. <laughs> if you don't want to marry the girl, just tell her. <laughs> no, Mommy, you and Daddy are still married. Which actually means we're a real family. Oh. Oh, if you excuse me, I'm about to go make fun of Spirit and her common-law parents. <laughs> what is she talking about? Wow, you guys were freaking it up monkey style. <laughs> I found out that you never filed our divorce papers. Shame on you, Nicole. Flex, wait a minute. I signed those papers. I remember it like it was yesterday. Dwayne mailed them. Hey, I mailed those papers just like I did everything else for Nicole while Flex was gone. Picking up her groceries, picking up her dry cleaning picking up the pieces of your broken home. Hmm, good times. <laughs> it, it's no big deal. All you have to do is refile before a judge and it's done. This is a minor speed bump on the highway to wedded bliss. Girl, wait till you marry him. This is only the first of many bad problems. That's the thing. Just 10 minutes ago, I thought you were dead. Oh, good times. <laughs> Day 30 in the search for your mom. You're my brave little soldier. Um, Josh, my mom is back. Oh, day one in the celebration of your mom's return. Josh, for the last time, just because Arnez was macking on Ginger at Burger Hut doesn't mean she wants you back. Look, I am perfectly happy just being Brianna's friend. How would you like a nice long hamstring massage? Dog. Sure, I guess. There's Arnaz and Ginger, look at them holding hands like Ben Affleck and Way Low. You know what, your, your hamstrings are so tight, they need some Tiger Balm. And I'm gonna go get some in Chinatown. All right. All right, Brianna, it's been a month, your mom's back. Maybe now you're ready to hear the truth. Oh no, I see the truth. All the jelly shaking truth. <laughs> tell her, Ginger, tell her what really happened between us. Arnaz, please don't make me. Ginger, you have to tell the truth. About us sleeping together? Yes. <gasps> no! What? Arnaz, you slept with Ginger? No, no, no. I did not sleep with Ginger. Nazzy, it's out now. You don't have to lie. Arnaz, how could you? I didn't. She's lying, Brianna. No, I'm not. Remember, Arnaz? Me and you? <laughs> the couch? You know what? <laughs> I'm happy for you, too. It's the couch I'm sad for. Wait, Brianna. Arnaz, how could you? Do you know how long your mother had that couch on layaway? Well, we're here. Yeah. This is the big day. It's the biggest day of my life. We we're getting, getting a, a divorce. divorce. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my birthday. No, no, no. Winning the lottery. The Super Bowl. <laughs> the fresh air on your face when your mama lets you out of the closet. <laughs> uh, good times. Good times. <laughs> and gentlemen. Judge Maybelline, what are you doing here? This is a divorce court. That's what I do daily, before or after Oprah. Check your local listings. Now sit down. It says here that you two want a divorce and you are their witness. State your full legal names for the record, please. Uh, a Dwayne Odell Knox. Nicole Aretha Barnes. Uh, Flexter Alexander Barnes. Flexter? <laughs> Yeah, you didn't think my parents would just name me Flex, did you? <laughs> uh, but Judge, you might know me as Flex Washington, WINX sports anchor, before and after Oprah. Check your local listings. <laughs> Cute. Today I know you as my 12 o'clock. Now it says that the two of you have been married for 17 years and you have a lovely daughter. I saw her on TV the other day with your Spanish-speaking nanny. Uh, Judge, that's my fiance, Natalie. She's half Puerto Rican. <laughs> and I'm half tired. <laughs> Mr. Knox, can you vouch for this couple? Yes, I can, Your Honor. Now, you say these two have been separated for 15 years? Uh, 
Uh, that is correct. In the last 15 years, have the two of them lived together as man and wife? Diana, we were never man and wife. We were man and beast. I hate you. <laughs> I want to choke the spit out of you. We'll do what you gotta do. <laughs> Mr. Washington, I want order in my courtroom. Now, Mr. Knox, to your knowledge, have the two of them slept together in the last 15 years? <laughs> Uh, could you repeat the question, Your Honor? Have they had sex, little man? Uh, oh, yes, Thanksgiving 2001. But, 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 it, it was Thanksgiving, Your Honor. <laughs> You're supposed to give to those less fortunate than yourself. <laughs> Exhibit A, Your Honor. But can, can we just get a divorce now, please? Well, I could waste our time and keep asking you more questions, but it's obvious that the two of you don't get along. So I guess I could grant you a divorce. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. But not today. <laughs> State law requires you to go into marriage counseling. Oh, no, we don't need counseling. We need divorcing. Divorce. Well, you should have thought about that, Mr. Washington, before you basted your wife on Turkey Day. <laughs> you doing this? This is just childish. Hey, Arnez hurt me, so I'm gonna hurt him back. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Well, what is hell hath for bratty girls? <laughs> that. Yeah, these are cool trunks, Brianna, but it's not even my birthday. Yeah, but it's your half birthday. See, you're 16 and a half. Wow. You did all that in your head? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay, Josh, couch. Oh, is that my cake? <laughs> you know, if you really want to upset Arnez, we should oil him up first, make him real shiny. Bruh, he'll just go. <laughs> Come in. All right, Brianna. I know what you're doing. What? Getting lost in all this fineness? <laughs> wow. This is the best half birthday ever. Brianna, I was standing right outside the door. I know all about your little plan. Well, I knew that you were standing outside the door, and I did all this to expose you for the eavesdropper that you are. Well, well I, I knew that you knew that I was standing outside the door. And, but did you know that Ginger set me up and that Josh was in on it? <laughs> right, stop it! Aren't you guys are ruining my half birthday? <laughs> Josh, is this true? Look, I didn't know what she was planning when she asked me to bring you to Burger Hut. She used me. Hug? No hug. You knew exactly what Ginger was up to at Burger Hut. Brianna, make him leave. You leave. You leave. No, 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 you leave. Well, put your shirt on, man. Get is out of here. Wait, how about, Go both, your how about both of y'all leave? I don't know who to believe anymore. Just go. Go. Hug. Hug. Look, therapy's a trap. Now, the best way to get through this is to get along. So this government-appointed quack will stamp our papers. You're right, you're right. So you let me do all the talking while you just sit there and wag your tail. Well, at least I'm not wearing somebody else's tail. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Don't touch my hair. Oh, my bad. I leave that to the stable boy. <laughs> Hello. Flex, Nicole. Hi. I'm Dr. Medway. Easy way to remember. Med as in I'm a medical doctor. Way as in I will show you the way. <laughs> Medway. Um, um, uh, why don't you just tell me what happened between you two? Well, we loved, we lost. Yeah. We have dinner reservations. Can you stand by divorce papers so we can be on our way? <laughs> Okay, let's try something Dr. Phil stole from me. I'd like you two to face each other eye to eye. Uh, that's gonna be hard, Doc. She's kind of cross-eyed. You know, she can watch a tennis match without moving her head. That is, that is not true, Dr. Matthew. I saw that, Flex. Hush, Trigger. Okay, Mr. Cut from the Clippers. Oh, that's cold. 
I like your jump shot. Oh, I ain't say nothing about your no, cold feet. Ain't nobody oh, say nothing about your feet. Hey, 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 look at you two. You're, you're acting like a couple of kids. My guess is whenever you two get together, you regress back to being married teenagers. That's why you don't get along. Your relationship never grew up. Analysis. <laughs> it's kind of a trip, huh? <laughs> Nicole, I want you to share with Flex what you felt initiated the breakup of your marriage. Well, I, I never understood why Flex stopped loving me. Mm. What are you talking about, Nicole? I never stopped loving you, you know that. Flex, come on, I was left alone raising a baby by myself. And all I could think about was, what if you married me just because I was pregnant? Nicole, I married you because I loved you. The fact that you were pregnant just added shotguns to the ceremony. <laughs> oh, oh, you see? You see, everything is a joke with him, including our marriage. Nicole, I know you don't believe me. But even though I was on the road all the time, I was still serious about our marriage. And I missed you guys. I missed holidays, I missed birthdays. I even missed my baby's first words. Where's daddy? <laughs> you were my family. What's wrong with your face, girl? Oh, this has never happened before. I'm leaking. <laughs> um, Flex, you never told me you missed us. Why? I don't know, Nicole. I guess I just thought you knew. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Does this look like me? <laughs> I'm Dr. Memory. <laughs> <laughs> I just lighten in the moon. It's getting a little heavy in here, if you know what I mean. <laughs> So, so what now, Dr. Metway? Well, obviously, you two have some unfinished business. Maybe you need some room to breathe, to think about it. Thought, Thought about, about it. <laughs> uh, now, can you stamp our divorce paper so we can be on our way? Yeah, you whoa, 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 whoa. Slow your roll, dog. <laughs> Maryland state law says you need a one-year legal separation before a divorce can be finalized. What? what? Sucks, huh? It's the Maryland way, not the med way. <laughs> A year? Uh, uh, it's not my fault. What do you want me to do? It's the law. Look, I'm too tall to go to jail. You know they take the big guys down first? I can't believe this. I came over here in this to celebrate my engagement with my single fiance, only to be standing here in my underwear in front of a married man. Stop staring. <laughs> Natalie, it takes about a year to plan a wedding anyway. Everything is gonna be fine. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who's sorry. I'm the one who fell in love with a guy who's still married and probably still not over his ex-wife. Oh, now you're talking crazy. <laughs> Natalie, wait, you, you can't leave like Next, this. just let me go. I need my space. No, I know that. I just wanted to tell you that... that you don't have no clothes on. <laughs> ba, 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 boom, girl! <laughs> Sorry therapy didn't go as well as you planned. Now your mother's like a foot fungus. The more you scratch, the more you itch. Why do you hate mommy so much? Sweetie, I don't hate her. In fact, she's my best friend. You just called her fungus, daddy. It's just that she just gets me so frustrated sometimes. I mean, she knows how to get to me. No matter how many times we get together, it's the same old dance. The cabbage patch? <laughs> You know, your mother and I got together when we were about your age. And we could not get enough of each other. Now we can't take too much of each other. <laughs> you know, that's what happens sometimes. You get too serious, too young. And your relationship never grows. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I do. Arnaz, can I talk to you? Look, Brianna, I tried talking to you, but you won't listen. Look, but I need you to listen. I don't want to be like foot fungus to you. <laughs> You're supposed to be turning me on? 
I hope not. I just, I don't want us to get so wrapped up in each other that we can't really be friends, and I need us to be friends. So, you don't want to be my girlfriend ever? No, but I want us to be friends forever. Friends who make out all the time? <laughs> How about friends who won't grow up fighting all the time? Look, Brianna, to be honest, I've been working really, really hard at this. And truthfully, I'm tired. <laughs> so, friends. Thank you, Arnaz. But you remember that whenever you decide to change your mind. My little foot fungus. <laughs> Something for the grill. Uh, yes. All right, Dwayne, I've got to know. That's just me and you, friend to idiot. <laughs> Did you really mail our divorce papers? Man, I can't believe you don't trust your best friend. Man, yes, I mailed them. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm sorry, man. How do you want your steak? I mean the hot, hot, hot blonde from the boardwalk. <laughs> Dude, you're in California. All the girls are hot. Mm. Except Emac's last date. <laughs> what was her name? King Latifah. <laughs> well, check this out. She's a masseuse, right? She invited me up to a spa in Santa Barbara for the weekend. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, she'll be working all day, but she'll be working me all night. <laughs> mm -hmm. California is my kind of town. How do you think Brianna's gonna take it? Oh, she'll be fine, so I'm not gonna tell her. Things have been cool with us being just friends. I'm not about to mess that up. You're gonna keep a secret from Brianna. Our boy's growing up. <laughs> Shoot, I'm nobody's boy. I'm Rachel's man. I'm about to work that this weekend. <laughs> right. Be back there. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. Arnest. <laughs> That's your name. What you so happy about? Oh, um, I got accepted into guitar camp this weekend. Really? Hmm. And there's a wife for the weekend. In the woods, irritating somebody else with his music. <laughs> now, I'm happy. Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all by yourself. I'll be back to think of that. Paper. I need a break. Ooh, let's go to Tijuana again. Ugh, I'm not allowed in Mexico. You take ten shots of tequila and throw a rock at the thunder alleys and suddenly you're a terrorist. <laughs> Come on, you guys. I gotta do something. Ever since Arnez and I broke up, I haven't done anything fun. What are you talking about? I told you all about the date I had last night. That was fun for you. <laughs> in a lonely, desperate Lisa kind of way. <laughs> Wait. Where did this come from? Redwood Retreat and Spa. Ooh, this sounds nice. You guys, do you know what this is? This is a sign. Yeah, sign so we need to clean the house. Is that a condom wrapper stuck to the back of that thing? <laughs> How would you know? <laughs> no, you guys, this is what I'm talking about. 
talking about? An adventure. I have never been to a spa before. So what do you say? Girls weekend? Sure. Can we bring along a rich man to pay for it? <laughs> no, no men, just us girls. And we can use the money my dad sent me for spring break and we can all bunk in one room. Oh, wait a minute, I can't go. I have a date tonight. Asking the pizza delivery guy in to hang out while you search for a coupon is not a date. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. We're a bit lost. That sounds like an Australian accent. So you must be really lost. <laughs> we're actually here to play in the International Beach Volleyball Tournament, and we are in need of directions. <sighs> well, here's the directions right to my heart. <laughs> you can spike it as many times as you like. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> but we can't seem to find the Rusty Crab Motel. The Rusty Crab? That's the place with the police tape and the chalk outline out front. <laughs> Why would your team be staying there? No, the team is staying at the Venice Ocean View. Alternates are staying at the Rusty Crab. <laughs> you know, you'd be better off staying here. Oh, that's very kind of you, but we can't stay in the home of strange men. Uh, well, first of all, only one of us is strange. <laughs> and second of all, you know, it's not just our home. This is one of Venice's most charming bed and breakfast. That's right. We're a bed and breakfast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on in. Take a look. Oh, this is so cute. It's perfect. But it must be expensive. Not at all. We pride ourselves in being affordable and offering discounts to international volleyball players. <laughs> Please have it. Oh, please, please, please. And they beg, too. <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> and, 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 and just so you know, I'm D-Mac, and this is my associate Cash. If you like fresh towels, he's your guy. And if you like a chocolate on your pillow, I'm your man. <laughs> Guys, I'm not sure about this spa stuff. Everybody is walking around naked under their robes. And some people need to tie their robes a little tighter. <laughs> you are here to relax, Rihanna. Well, how can I? Have you seen how expensive these spa treatments are? You guys aren't gonna be able to do anything. <laughs> well, we're just happy to be here, Brianna. We're just gonna hang out and enjoy the scenery. Mm. Hello, scenery. <laughs> Let the gays begin. <laughs> on, you guys. This is a girls' weekend. No men. Good afternoon, ladies. It's a beautiful day today, so make sure you check out our view. Well, this is looking pretty good from here. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. What was that you were saying about no men? No, 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 girl. I said amen. I said amen. He is fine. <laughs> Come on, let's go check out the pool. I'm so glad you came up with me this weekend, Arnett. Oh, me too. This place is incredible. <laughs> so are you. Arnett, not here, not while I'm working. You have to wait until tonight, and then you'll find out how incredible this place really is. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I can wait. <laughs> well, if I didn't know that you just broke up with your girlfriend, I'd think you haven't had sex in years. <laughs> yeah, but who will believe that? I will see you tonight. Okay. You guys, what is with all the naked people? People are naked in the jacuzzi, naked in the mud. Even that old man was naked. Put on some clothes, Grandpa! Oh, 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 oh. I know I shouldn't be drinking in here, but it's doctor's orders. I get easily dehydrated. Oh, uh, it's okay. I don't work here, ma'am. Oh, please. My mother's a ma'am. This is all miss. As in, you wouldn't want to miss this. Wait a minute. You mean I'm supposed to be naked during my massage, too? But they just booked me with a male masseuse. It's not a sexual thing, Brianna. These are trained professionals. I don't care. I'm still switching to a female masseuse. And if she goes L word on me, I am so out of here. 
ladies, it's time for your seaweed wraps. Oh, we can't afford seaweed wraps. Don't worry, it's included in the weekend package. You are part of the Sydney Wong bachelorette party, right? Why, yes, yes, we are. <laughs> this is Sydney Wong's cousin, Lisa. <laughs> Great. Just so you know, Sydney's been delayed and won't be here until tonight, but she asked us to get you started. Oh, well, what kind of a cousin would I be if I held things up? Let's go, people! <laughs> you must be awfully hot in all those clothes. I know a great strip drinking game. You strip while I drink. Okay, that's not fair. Looks like you had a head start on the drinking. <sighs> Just what I'm about to get some. Here comes Brianna, blocking. Oh, thank you so much for letting me switch. Oh, and here she comes again. <laughs> I knew you'd be bad. <laughs> okay, you don't understand. There's a girl out there. Oh, I understand totally. Who wants a girl when you can have a woman? <laughs> oh, our room is so cute. It feels so lived in. <laughs> Well, nothing's more quaint than staying at a bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. In France, we stayed at one that served wine and cheese at sunset. Oh, please tell us to serve wine and cheese. Oh, please, please, please. They're begging again, dog. <laughs> please feel free to sample our complimentary spa products. Ooh, thank you, I will. <laughs> Mango lime passion body frosting. Oh, it smells good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Are you Brianna? Oh yes, I'm Brianna. Uh, you might want to rub some of that lotion in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm just um conditioning my surface first. You know, you just gotta let it sit for a minute. <laughs> okay, that's long enough. <laughs> Well, look, it's gonna be a few minutes before your next treatment. Would you like a complimentary foot massage while you wait? Uh, can I keep my clothes on? <laughs> oh. All right. What's this game you're playing? Because I think it's hot. <laughs> look, I'm hiding from someone. Ooh, you kidnapped me and the cops are looking for us. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't take me against my will. You're back. Hey, guys. Oh, perfect timing. We got wine and cheese for you ladies. Uh, why did your cab drivers follow you in? Oh, this is Paolo and Miguel. We met them at the tournament. <laughs> Aren't we naughty girls? I want to spank you. I told you they'd have wine and cheese for us. Oh, thanks. We're gonna take this to our room. Huh. The cheap stuff. It's okay. I just go in to be drinking out of her belly button anyways. Here you go. Drink this. It'll flush out the toxins. What? You gave me toxins? Toxins were already in your body. I just helped release them. Yeah, you sure did. Enjoy the rest of your stay. Thank you. Now what are you doing, Brianna? I can't take it anymore. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now the shorts. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna take my chances out there. been sitting here enjoying some scenery <laughs> and I'm enjoying this cucumber salad oh excuse me can I please have some ranch dressing when you get a chance sure but you do know those cucumbers are for your eyes yeah I know and the dress is for my forehead facials and 
20 minutes, girls. Thanks, Shell. What? Wait, how can you guys afford facials? Oh, she thinks we're part of a bachelorette party. Everything's covered. That is so wrong. <laughs> Actually, it's so wrong. <laughs> Oh, this is bad. Keep walking, Rachel. Keep walking. Hi, Brianna. I'm Rachel. Please don't be a masseuse. I'm your masseuse. <laughs> Here's your ranch dressing for your forehead. Thank you. I I I'm going to put this on later. <laughs> well, come with me, and I will take you out onto the patio. Okay. Our new girlfriend, ex-girlfriend talking. No good can come from that. Don't say my name. Don't say my name. <laughs> the weekend we had planned, man. There are four people back there about to have sex, and none of them are us. Excuse me, D-Mac, are you busy? Perhaps I spoke too soon. <laughs> yes, Melanie? Uh, it looks like the boys are going to stay over. Uh, Paul and I are wondering if the other room's available. Sure. Just give us a minute to get it ready. Thank you. Now, what were you thinking? Now, where are we gonna sleep tonight? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. As proprietors of this B&B, &B, we are required by law to have regular, unscheduled fire drills. I'm on it. Mm -hmm. I'm on it. <laughs> oh, here, let me. Before we get started, are there any problem areas that you want to tell me about? Oh, okay. Well, um, school's been a little more stressful than I thought it would be. You know, it's kind of hard living with five people. Oh, and to top all that, I just broke up with my boyfriend who moved out here with me because, you know, we just went to different things. I wanted him to be the man of my dreams and he wanted to be a jerk. Actually, I was talking about problem areas on your body. <laughs> oh, I I'm sorry. Um... Well, I kind of don't like my ankles. Oh, I see. You're a virgin. Well, how do you know that? Well, this is your first time at a spa, isn't it? it you're a spa virgin. Oh, yeah, spa virgin. Good evening. Uh, hello? On table, now. Oh, no, I'm not here for... Table! Now! Take off your clothing. I won't look. <laughs> Relax. I'm not going to bite you. So I'm going to start on your back, and you just let me know if you feel any pain at all. Girl, believe me, I have a high tolerance for pain. You should have heard my ex-boyfriend sing. He sounds like a wounded dog. <laughs> Wait, just like that? What's going on over there? It's one of Helga's clients. She's got the hands of a Soviet brick mason. Eyes front! Oh, how about you? You have a boyfriend? I did just meet this cute guy, and he's here to visit me for the weekend. Oh, good for you. I hope everything works out. Thanks. Normally, I don't date musicians. They're usually self-absorbed boneheads who spend most of the day oiling up and practicing rock star poses in the mirror. <laughs> Girl, that's what I had. I am so glad to be done with that. Well, I do kind of miss his abs, though. <laughs> mm, I know. My new guy, abs of steel. But he knows it. Oh, they all know it. But good thing they don't know is that's the only reason why we date them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Helga is rough. What is she doing to that poor woman? Ah, ow, ow, ow. Miss, that one hurt. Arnez? Arnez? <laughs> oh, such a baby. 
I'll go get some baby powder for your frail American tushy. Arnaz? Brianna, what are you doing at guitar camp? Wait a minute, you two know each other? Yeah, this is my ex-boyfriend. How do you know him? This is the guy I was telling you about. Hey, what a small world, huh? I can't believe you lied to me and said that you were going to guitar camp. Good luck with him, Rachel. But personally, I think you can do way better. I don't know what's going on here, but why would you have to lie to your ex-girlfriend? Well, if I told her I was going with you for the weekend, it would have been weird around the house when I got home. Wait a minute, you live with her? Oh, right. It's on my list of things to lie to you about. <laughs> well, I was going to tell you that I'm double-jointed, and I can drop it like it's hot in more than 20 positions. <laughs> but forget about it. Helga? He said your massage was weak. <laughs> okay. Back on table, baby. I'll kick it up a notch. Look, Brianna, let me explain. Okay, it's not like I lied to hurt you. I seriously didn't think you were ready to hear that I was spending the weekend with somebody. And I'm not ready to hear it now. I have reached a place spa people call total relaxation. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm headed back to my room. Oh, and by the way, I'm completely naked underneath my robe. And loving it. <laughs> Morning, brethren, sistren. <laughs> Guess who just happens to be my eighth cousin three times removed? The guy who played Leroy on Fame? <laughs> oh, my bad. He's got at least two feet on you. <laughs> now, I was fooling around on this genealogy website, and I found out that the very blood running through my veins is the same as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. That's right. <laughs> you know what that means, don't you? The information highway is gridlocked? <laughs> means that I am descended from greatness, destined to be an activist. I am picking up the torch of civil liberties and lighting the way for my oppressed peoples. That's, that's y'all. <laughs> well, Dwayne, you gonna lift us up all from your mama's basement. <laughs> you the man. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Frank's on. That old gas bag's the only thing standing between me and the lead sports anchor position. And one final thought. To all my fans who have been so supportive over the last 20 years, I bid you farewell. You see, the aliens spoke to me through my navel last night, and this reporter's been chosen to mate with their queen. So until the next millennium... I'm coming, Queen Tulipi. Poor guy. I hope he's all right. But, on the brighter side... I'm in there, I'm moving on up like George Jefferson, say what? Say what? Sometimes in this life, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. I'll be there. Good morning, boss, and it is a good morning. <laughs> Undip me, you dip. <laughs> Just had to ship Frank off to the Sweet Dream Sanitarium, and trust me, it's not a very sweet place. Anyway, Frank is gone. I'm here. Give me the job. <laughs> Flex, it's not my choice. The station manager wants to see some other people as well. This is blatant racism. I'll have you know that I'm a close personal friend of a man who's distantly related to Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. <laughs> Stacy, love. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late. But then again, I figured, who else she gonna interview? <laughs> Flex, you know Red Galloway from Channel 14. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. What's up, man? <laughs> the man who exposed the use of steroids in figure skating? Please. That wasn't news. That Romanian girl did a victory lap holding her coach over her head. <laughs> 
You know, Flex, envy green is such an ugly color on you. But then again, so is that shirt, bro. Ooh, if we're talking about clothes, shouldn't you return those shoes to the Bolarama? Uh, Red, wait for me in my office, please. And by the way, sending me flowers, pretty transparent. Lucky for you, I like my butt kissed. <laughs> Stacy, I have paid my dues at this station. I shouldn't have to kiss your butt for this job. Although I'd be happy to visit it on my own free time. <laughs> Look, Flex, the higher-ups want someone who will go the extra mile to get the story. You saying I have to audition? Yes. You and Red have a week to come back with a hot story. Best one gets the job. I should quit. <laughs> I should do a lot of other things, too. Good day. Girl, I know you got the part of Catherine. That Tory Spelling thing you did with your hair, girl, amazing. Girl, no, you're the amazing when you did it all with real hair. Attention! I've made my decisions for Shakespeare night. The selected scenes from The Taming of the Shrew. If you didn't get the part you wanted, get used to it. That's showbiz. <laughs> But aren't it as you were the only guy who tried out? Yeah, but that girl from the field hockey team was really good. Congratulations, Brianna. You got the part of Catherine. Oh, really? Oh, I... It's cool. It, it, it's no big deal. The hell is not? I get to kiss you. So I'm your understudy, which is almost worse than not getting a part. No, being an understudy is, is awesome. See, you get all the fun. Mm -hmm. Well, I get all the pressure. Who's the lucky one here? <laughs> Thanks. Come uh, here, girl. Come here. I guess I'll see you guys later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it may not be, and it cannot be. Let me entreat you. Wait, hold up. I mean, who talks like this? What does entreat you mean? Uh, I think it means we kiss. <laughs> uh uh. Understudy? Oh, man. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Y'all call that acting? Spirit, if you're gonna be my understudy, you have to kiss with a little more feeling. Yeah, so you're right. Come on, let's show her how we do it here. Go away. <laughs> Daddy, this is a closed rehearsal. Uh, Brianna, the only thing I want to see closed is your mouth. <laughs> well, maybe we should rehearse in my house. Yeah. Nah, you know what? I'm all Shakespeare out. Y'all go without me. Okay. Oh, and Arnaz, uh, can you try to say your lines without spitting on people? Thank you. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm, I'm sorry if I embarrassed you. I'm just in a bad mood. They're making me audition for the lead sports anchor position. I shouldn't have to prove myself. I am more seasoned than a... A, a Jeffrey Dahmer dinner guest. Same here. I mean, what's wrong with the world? They don't know who we be. They ain't know. Black boys and black girl, I have been to the promised land. Ooh, was Tupac there? Did you know we have a Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in this very town? So does any town with more than 20 black people. But well, my cousin needs a more substantial tribute. That's why I give you the Harbor Tunnel. Makes sense. Harry Tubman had a railroad. Precisely. That's why I propose renaming said tunnel the Martin Luther King Jr. Tunnel of Enlightenment. <laughs> I must leave now so as to hasten my mission. I will see you at the mountain's top. Good luck, bruh. We shall overcome, dog. We shall overcome. Ma'am, I don't care if he is gay. Those are not the kind of stories we do here at WYNX. Who's gay? And how soon can we get it on the air? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, this is a news station, not Gossip Hour at Aunt Clara's Press and Weave. <laughs> Man, you can learn a lot of good stuff at a beauty salon. That's where I found out a certain New York shortstop has more illegitimate kids than Sean Kemp. <laughs> you don't have any standards, do you? And you don't have any Emmys, do you? <laughs> no, but I have been employee of the month. <laughs> Yeah, it's red. Look, uh, 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 I don't want to hear that crap. Look, just get me something juicy on one of your buddies. 
or my next report is gonna read star college athlete exposed for illegally accepting money from alumni loses promising NBA future. I know it's too long for a headline, Lou Grant. <laughs> Just give me the information. Stacy, what if I told you that Red was using sleazy tactics to get a story? <gasps> Really? Mm -hmm. Then I'd say the only job he's eligible for here is lead sports anchor. <laughs> okay. I'll get low down and dirty. <laughs> Hope this doesn't keep me out of heaven. whispering about I'm saving my voice it's a trick us stars do <laughs> me Celine Diana will miss Ross to you look what do you want I've rewritten the play it needed a little punching and updating but you can't rewrite Shakespeare you're not even in the 10th grade don't think of it as a rewrite think of it as a remix <laughs> I gave Big Willie Shea some flavor. Look, I don't think this is a good idea. Honey, your job is to understudy, not think. Now run along and pass those out. She's out of control. The girl has rewritten Shakespeare. Did she cut the kiss? Oh, oh it's still in there. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Please take your marks for the beginning of rehearsal. Let's start with the wedding scene between Petruchio and Catherine. Um, Arnez and Brianna, are you ready? Catherine, or should I say Special K? I'll buy you Versace and Prada new. So love me too, because this thug needs a shrew. I love you, boo. But I need a bands too. I know that I'm the finest in the nation. <laughs> but I can't deal with all this hateration. What was that? <laughs> I just made a few changes in the play. Just keeping it real. Well, well how about just keeping it Shakespeare? <laughs> you know, everything the man wrote wasn't gold. Was he a personal friend? <laughs> Is there anyone here who can explain Catherine's character and her motivation? The non-Tupac version. <laughs> Catherine's misunderstood. She's a strong woman, but everybody thinks she's just a bitter shriek. Actually, she's a sensitive soul who's always been second to her sister in her father's eyes. It's obvious you fully understand Catherine's character. Spirit, you take over the role of Catherine. Brianna will be your understudy. That's how I keep it real. <laughs> Brianna will be who? My understudy. <laughs> now, run along, Miss Ross. <laughs>
So how much did you hear? And what is it going to cost me? Hey, I'm not trying to blackmail you, man. But you've been accepting money for the alumni. This is huge. If this gets out, you can be in serious trouble. What am I supposed to do? I'm in too deep. You see, the go with the flow of red will end my career before it starts. Man, I knew I should have gone to DeVry like my brother. <laughs> Look, just trust me, okay? I, I, I'll figure out a way to get away from red, okay? I don't know what it is yet, but I'll find a way. All right? Hey, you up kind of late. Can't sleep. I can tell from that look on your face that uh, you need me to do the Cosby thing. Come on, sit down, Theo. <laughs> I just can't believe Spirit will betray me. Still in my part like that. Now, did she steal it or did your ego give it away? When Dr. Gilks called me tonight, she told me you had more attitude than Jennifer Lopez, but one third the booty. I was just trying to make the play better. Nobody understands me. It's tough being a diva. Baby, I love you, but you're tripping. Dad, whose side are you on? Sweetie, you only get a handful of real friends in your life. Don't let your ego make you lose one. Okay? Do the right thing. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Theo. <laughs> Don't let the dead bugs bite. Oh, good thing you're here. Thank you. you need to talk to Spirit. She's so nervous, I think she's gonna lose her stomach. And I have to kiss her. I'm good, but I ain't that good. <laughs> Ooh, all right, I guess that's my cue. Is my tail properly placed between my legs? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't do this out of my way, I'm bouncing. Spirit, you can do this. You know this part better than Dr. Gibbs, and she used to date Shakespeare. I can't go out there with all those people looking at me. But you've done plays before? I was a munchkin in the Wiz and a tumbleweed in Oklahoma. <laughs> you have never been a lead. What? Wait a minute, when did I start speaking to you? Spirit, I've been watching you rehearse. You're a great actress. I know you're gonna go out there and be amazing. You really get this Shakespeare stuff. I'm scared. Don't. I'll be right here in the wings if you need me. Go ahead, girl. Break a leg. Come, sit on me. Asses are made to bear, and so are you. Women are made to bear, and so are you. No such jade as you, if me, you mean. Alas, good Kate, I will not burden thee, for knowing thee to be but young and light. Too light for such a swain as you to catch, and yet as heavy as my weight should be. Undefeated on the field, but Baltimore State's football team takes an academic beating, which, strangely enough, does not show up in any NCAA records. We'll see you guys on the sideline. If you can read the directions to the next game. <laughs> this is Red Galloway, reminding you that if Red Galloway isn't on your TV, then your TV probably ain't really on. And we're clear. Red, that was a fabulous audition. Well, Red Galloway does not disappoint. <laughs> Remember that when you're eating soup for one on Saturday night, baby. <laughs> so what happened to Flip? Well, if you mean Flex, I guess he's a no-show. Maybe he just isn't hungry. Oh, no. Flex is hungry. <laughs> In fact, he's hungry for some red pie. <laughs> Got a little surprise for you. Red, you remember Ishmael Porter, don't you? You don't know who you're dealing with, kid. You don't want this to get ugly. Uh, looked in the mirror lately? Too late. <laughs> and we're back in five, four, three. Good evening, Baltimore. This is Flex Washington. And tonight, I'm joined by B-State's star point guard, Ishmael Porter. Ishmael, it's come to my attention that you've been involved in accepting money from B-State's Booster Club. Yeah, I, I accepted money to help my family. But you realize NCAA rules prohibit student athletes from accepting money. I know that. And I was wrong. I got in over my head, and then someone started blackmailing me. Oh, really? <laughs> Would it be that man? <laughs> the man known as Red Galloway? <laughs> he lied! 
Then who did I witness blackmailing Ishmael in a dark, dank alley? I wouldn't know, because I wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, well, I got a good friend and a man in the dumpster who could prove you wrong. <laughs> so tell me, Ishmael, what made you come forward? Well, you cornered me in that alley. After that, after that. <laughs> well, it was one thing accepting money. But when Red had me dropping dime on my friends, it, it wasn't cool. So what are you going to do now, Ishmael? Well, maybe DeVry might be starting a basketball team. <laughs> well, I, I wish you luck, Ishmael. <laughs> This is Flex Washington saying, keep your noses clean, Baltimore, or I'll have to wipe them. <laughs> Not that? And we're clear. Yo, you cannot do this to me. Man, I'm Red Galloway. I'm the one that... You are leaving. Flex beat you, Red. Better luck next time. You heard the lady. Get to stepping, and we're not validating your parking, either. <laughs> OK, OK. I'll tell you what. You may not like what I do, but you'll never beat me to a story. Or in bowling, either. Why are you in those shoes again? <laughs> Hey, Ishmael, look, if you need me to say anything to the disciplinary committee, just let me know, man. Hey, thanks, Flex. I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders, and I can start over. By the way, for $50, I can tell you all about the athletic director. Uh, bro, uh... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Force a habit. Flex, congratulations. You are the new lead sports anchor, and we're going to run this story on Live at Five. <laughs> oh, well, I'm very pleased, and thanks for the opportunity, but, uh... I have to get back to you with my answer. You are kidding, right? Oh, you know it, baby! <laughs> ah, I'm the man, I'm the man, the sports anchor. <laughs> Mr. Untouchable, you can't push me around any more. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I'm still your boss. <laughs> I can work with that. <laughs> What happened to you, man? Man, sit-ins ain't what they used to be. It was just me and my mama, and we both got hit by cars. Uh, cars in the Harbor Tunnel. What's next? Trains in the subway? Man, a navigator took me out. But I'm afraid the Yugo that hit my mama didn't fare so well. Hey, well, look, at least you embraced the cause and you stuck to it. Your cousin would be proud of you. Yes, he would. Although we didn't get the tunnel named after him. But you know that stretch of highway that runs along the middle institution? Yeah. Thought they named that Mariah Carey. <laughs>